Um, welcome to uh, this uh, stitch along, uh, Sal. Uh, it's the Once Upon a Fairy Tale um, by Amy Stewart. Uh, the design is charted by Heaven and Earth Designs, and I've chosen to stitch the supersized maxed color. And I think this is episode six of my cell. And as you can see, I have made a lot of progress, but I finished this section as I promised in my last video. So we can continue with uh, what's coming up next. I don't know. Um, oh, I'm going to sneeze. Oh my God. Hold. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> and my daughter, she heard that I sneezed, so she said, Cause God, what what do you call it? Bless you? I don't know. Oh. Um, what was I thinking? Yes, I finished... Um, my um oh let's let's just rewind here um can you see yeah you can see so uh i was thinking i'm gonna fill these gaps in uh because it's the same color and maybe continue down a little bit so when i finish the that those gaps there i have two more grids completed and it is going to be uh, 939 and as you can see on my card here, there is quite a lot of 939. A lot of fun. Yes, so um, earlier this week, I um, finished all the white or the 3865 on my supersized Max Color uh, Grandmaster also the heaven and earth design and um that was like nineteen thousand five hundred and forty eight stitches in total so that's like a small finish actually i think it's about eight percent of the whole pattern so that's nice and first i wanted to um you know, uh, just since I've been stitching white on white, uh, I really want to, wanted to grab a, a color and uh, continue because the next color uh, is going to be 37.56, I think. And there's like about 5,000 stitches. So I thought that's like a piece of cake. And some color on that big supersized pattern. But um, then I also wanted to, um, let's see, to stitch uh, on my Mirabilia. What am I doing? I'm going to start with the loop stitch, of course. So. Yeah, I wanted to start, uh, continue on my Mirabilia, but I also want to stitch this. So my plan is to stitch on this uh, Once Upon a, a Fairy Tale a little bit more and to, the goal is to finish, whoops. Uh, the first page. The lighting is not good. It's in the. It's eight o'clock in the evening. So. Let's see. Let's see how this will. This goes. My hand might. Just. That that was a little bit. Of a long tail there, but. Yeah, so my plan is to um, 
finish the first page to get a little bit more progress in this design would be so nice and it's not like it's gonna be a surprise or anything what's you know what's going on in the picture because there are so many out there stitching and most of us starts in the top left corner so we all know so typical when I start stitching the kids go out and play They need to go out and play. I'm, I'm very surprised though that they're out at this time of hour, this time of day, even though it's Saturday. Yeah, so I have my pattern on Pattern Keeper, Keeper, Pattern Keeper, yes. Let's see if I can do something with the lighting here. Yeah, and I mentioned that before, uh, that usually, uh, I think it's kind of common that we make plans that we're going to stitch that and this and in that turn and, uh, yeah. And I also think it's kind of nuts. Well, kind of usual, not very unusual, that we don't stick to the plants. So we'll see. But uh, I'm really enjoying my Mirabilia as well. It's uh, Miss Christmas Eve. Um, and I've started putting in some, some beads as I stitch. Um, you know, just to get uh, a little bit of, um, what do you call it, uh, variety and motivation. So, um, and because one of uh, my viewers, um, where was she from? Was she Norwegian or Danish? Yeah, um, I'm gonna mention her by name in my next floss tube. Uh, she asked if I could kind of show how I put in the beads because she never tried that before. And so I thought I could do that. But before I do that, I would like to, um, you know, try it a little bit more myself because I'm no expert whatsoever. Uh, I've watched YouTube as many of you guys do and learning all about it that way. So that was those stitches there. And where do I go? I go downwards to, um, let's see. Oh, that's not that needle. Um, there, and then we have the three there. here so yeah but um I'm kind of looking forward to spending a little bit of more time on this once upon a fairy tale uh, because it's such a beautiful piece um, really I I love it so but the 
the max color stuff it's starting to scare me a little bit actually but I think I'm going to be able to to handle it um, when cross country stitching now we're going to go up here I usually start in the bottom left corner when I'm going to cross stitch, but sometimes I think that I might save some flaws if I start in the, you know, uh, closest corner. So it's either the bottom left or top right corner. Yes, and then I have two ways going down there. so. What's the closest? I don't know. Let's go to, to the one to the left. Let's see. I have two there. And that's so good. That's also a great thing about the pattern uh, keeper app that um, when you mark the stitches off, it's the same color in the pattern. So you find your stitches a lot easier. Nope, now I'm not looking properly. Let's see, so I'm in the right spot here. Not too sure, yeah. Um, such a great app. Better mark them off as I go. So one, two, three, four down. Oh, but not too much in the way with my hand. So I bought a new pattern from Heaven and Earth Designs. Uh, been looking at it for years. Uh, I loved it since uh, they released it. It's The Couch Dragon by Randall Spangler. Let's see one. Um, it's so sweet. I don't know why I didn't buy it earlier, but I guess I haven't, you know, felt like stitching it uh, because, well, you know, th all the bookshelves that Amy Stewart is releasing, there are so many things going on in these pi pictures. And I think that's like really a lot of fun to stitch because every little thing that you finish, you know, it's like a finish and like Randall Spangler's who I seriously love his art uh, but you know like in the couch dragon it's it's the dragon which is the focus point and like the main picture um, So uh, when you finish the dragon, you have like kind of finished half the piece, but it's still such a very nice uh, design. So, so I bought that and I think a lot because I found out that I had some <laughs> fabric where I could stitch something new, start something new. And it's the magic guide weave 
uh, with the 2020 grids and I've stitched uh, some of the, um, the Spanglers on that kind of grid and I enjoy that with his art. So I decided to get that. So now I need to to get um let's see. I'm gonna finish this with a pin stitch. Mm, yeah, so now I need to get a thread pack for that. Um but she's having a small break. Barb is having a small break to care for some of her business. Uh, so I need to wait a little bit. So, but when she starts uh, doing thread packs again, I, I'm gonna order a thread pack for the dragon. So let's get another thread. I hope I'm in camera and everything. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to starting that uh, actually. it's So I bought it in the regular uh, size, which was like 400 by 200 so it didn't sound too big actually so uh, it's doable I think uh, not that I think that I will finish it but yeah you never know let's see where am I I think I'm here let's hope I'm in the right space spot right spot um, Oh my god, did you see the release of the pirate ship room by Amy Stewart? Oh my god. Oh my god. I saw uh, she released the design in, in the group uh, before it, be it came out as a, a pattern, but it didn't take long after. And I was so excited, but I haven't bought... I haven't bought it. I haven't bought it. Um, why? Because maybe, 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 maybe someone out there will make, you know, a request for the pattern as a super size, maybe, or something. And I would like to see the crops, the differences. But the room, the pirate ship, was kind of big. It was, it was almost eight hundred by something, so it was it was uh, quite big as it was, you know. Um, let's do two, and then it's two down to the other one there. Uh, so I'm I'm gonna wait a little bit, because I'm not sure, but. I am actually leaning toward getting it as a regular because it looks very nice as it is. And it's not like the bookshelves where there is plenty of things going on there. So it's more like a big room with, with some stuff in it. Um, so, But I'm going to wait a little bit, but I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it for sure. I'm marking them off. And then I missed those three up there. But I think the jump is too big, so I don't want to jump over there. Or do I? Jump, don't jump. Yeah, I, I'm going to jump. Let's do them. Two there, and I need to jump over here. And then stitch one. Nobody's going to see the backside. It's okay. Mm. 
there is another uh, there is another Amy Stewart design that I'm gonna get. I'm talking about the fantastic voyage. It's so cool. And I've been having my eyes on that for a very, very long time. And last year when I bought the Secret Garden, super sized, max color, I was choosing between those two. And I should have gotten them both. But the thing is, Come on. How far down in the screen am I? Um, the thing is that I cannot make up my mind if I'm gonna get it as a max color or a regular color. I've decided that I am going to get it as a supersized because there is so many things going on. And I want as much detail as possible. And then I should get it as max color with the, you know, 230 something colors. But I'm like, do I really want another one like that? I have. I have quite a few of the super size max colors. How many do I have, which I'm stitching on? Um, two, the Grand Master and the Secret Garden. So th quite a few, that's like two. <laughs> but, um, Then I have, you know, Aqua City is a regular size, but it's max color. And then I have the Quick Stitch, uh, which is the uh, Spooky House, which is a part of the Treasure Hunt bookshelf. And that is also uh, max color. And then I have my World Travel bookshelf. And that thing is super sized, but I didn't choose max color because I was thinking it should be confetti heavy as it is. And if I choose max color as well, I'm not sure that I'm going to enjoy it as much. Because sometimes I do like to park. And as I've told you guys about when I try to park secret gar garden I was like no freaking away but then when I look at the pictures comparing a super sized world travel bookshelf shelf with the regular colors uh, and compare that with the one that has max colors and also super sized yeah, I think the details are more intense, better. But I mean, the detail on my bookshelf, that's not bad either. But like someone said, you know, if you're doing Amy Stewart's, those, those, those designs deserve max color it deserves it all you know and somehow I, I I have to agree on that but then I'm like I'm not about the finish you know I, I always say it's all about the process you have to enjoy what you do or you're gonna stop doing it I think it did another, yeah. So now I'm gonna do two, two and one. 
And when I think, you know, progress, no process, enjoying the process and thinking of, you know, that I have so many heaven and earth designs as it is. I don't have two super size max colors. I have three. I'm stitching on a, a one as well. I have Grandmaster, I have Secret Garden, and this one, of course. Oh my God, Jesus. I have so many, I, you know, I can't keep track of them. Um, I, I was seriously, I cannot make up my mind. I'm leaning very much toward, you know, getting just regular colors. Because it's going to look awesome anyway. And I might be able to park the thing. Well, that's the reason why I haven't bought the, the pattern yet. Because I cannot, I cannot make up my mind. It's such an agony, really. Oh, I, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. Am I still in camera? Yes, I'm still in camera. So where am I? I'm over there. So let's do the two. I'm going to get it though. And I'm going to get a thread pack. But I don't know if I'm going to get 230 plus colors or just 90. Just, I mean, that's quite a lot. It is quite a lot. I'm having, I have dog here in my piece. Well, 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 let's do two. Oh yeah, the couch dragon. I'm seriously considering doing half stitches on that one as well. You know, just to speed up things. Two. I think after, you know, if the, if it won't take too long to finish off a page on this one, the Once Upon a Fairy Tale, I really want to start my mini uh, Dragon in the Morning. Also a Randall Spangler, where I'm going to 10 stitch it. So I think it's going to go super fast. And I know I'll be able, able to finish that. Um, if I don't, you know, leave it to the side for too long. Let's back up like. Like so. And I stitch there and that. Should I, I should go back up. No, I shouldn't because then I'm going to lose myself because I think I stitched with, um, I think it was black before and now it's like the very dark blue. So it's difficult when I look at them here, I can't see the difference if it's dark blue or black or yeah, I can't see, I can't the difference but now I need to end the thread as well and I was over there and I think it's gonna be kind of difficult to end it but I will try under 
a few stitches here. Like so. Yeah. Um, what else? Was it, was there another, I don't think there's another heaven and earth design I'm planning on purchasing at the moment. But yeah, getting a thread pack for the couch dragon, purchasing the design fabric and a thread pack for the fantastic voyage and then the pirate room but i'm gonna think about that i think i will go with a regular actually yeah um where did i put the threads now so um I'm also waiting for the latest uh, Mirabilia. I got a kit with everything. I'm not sure if I ordered the fabric with it or I, I, if it's without fabric. I don't know, but it's a kit uh, from England. Uh, but I think uh, they're waiting for it to arrive from, um, from the States. So, but uh, I think it's like on its way to England before they can start kitting up stuff for me. So, yeah, uh, it was called, what was it called? The latest Mirabilia, it was called Elenia, Elenia or something. But my God, did you guys see that one? So freaking beautiful. Yep. I mean, how can you say no to that? I know I can't. And I'm still waiting for a pattern from, I don't know if it's from the States. I don't think it was from the States. It says that she's shipping from the States, but I think she's shipping from some Asian country. And I ordered it two months ago and the postal service is still not working and i think it's something with that she has a deal with dhl um so i need to wait for it and it's the um, i think it's called the winter queen the one i ordered the wrong one so i got a kit for a snow queen and i meant to buy winter queen because I bought all the other queens. Uh, and now I have no clue. Yeah, I'm here. Um, yeah. So I need to get that pattern and ask for uh, Hawkins Hobbies to help me kit it up. But I guess that will happen like after summertime or something. What else? I bought a pair of new scissors. I'm using this, these, and I have been for very long. I'm very happy with this, but when I can't find any scissors for like other stuff when I'm doing other crafts or yeah, whatever, then I use that. And I noticed that the end, the tip here, uh, is not so sharp anymore so I got myself a new pair of scissors and I'm not using them at the moment because they are out with my mirabilia so what are, what am I doing here I'm talking and I don't know where I'm at. Let's see. It must be this way. It must be here. I'm sorry if my hand gets in the way. 
when I'm stitching. And now it's one in here. I've also put in an order for some scroll frames. It's the Omnic, Omnic frames from, is it Russia? No, it's not Russia. It must be Estonia, Lithuania, somewhere over there. Uh, but, I have, but I haven't received anything from, from them saying that they have shipped it or anything. So I guess they're in the same situ situation with the mail office as everyone else. Um, uh, so a little bit frustrating, but I ordered two frames, uh, 60 centimeter and a 70, 70 centimeter frame uh, with uh, a pair of sidebars, which were 20 centimeters, I think. So I'm really excited uh, to try them out. Uh, I have the Millennium millennium frames one large and one not so large um, but I heard very good uh, reputation or words about the frames so I'm very excited as I said Now what? Where should I go? Up or down? Up or down? Up or down? I'm going down because it's going to end over there. Let's go down. One. Two. No, that was two. And then I'm going to do three to go to the left. Yeah, so I started watching a lot of... Uh, YouTubers again, floss tubes and stuff. And I'm telling you guys, it's dangerous. It's dangerous to watch these movies, you know, showing all the hole and all the fabrics and everything they're getting. And you're like, oh, I want to get that. I want to get that. Oh, I need to get that. I need to. Get... Oh. And, you know, it's not possible to afford everything everyone is buying, right? Right. But I'm really enjoying it again. I'm so glad. I'm like back to the cross stitching stuff. Um, it's so relaxing and it's so enjoyable. Uh, and the community is so nice. So, yeah. But you want all the designs. You want all the patterns and all these hand dyed fabrics and silks and stuff. Oh, and it's so expensive. And you need to order it from the States. And the mail isn't working. And it's expensive. And you need to pay taxes on it and everything. Such problems, you know, such problems. Yeah, I'm being a little bit ironic. Uh, yeah, so now I'm going to go up here, I think it is, like so. Yeah. And I'm going to run the thread underneath the stitches. Like so. So I have a 
a little bit better under control. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how many of you who are in the Facebook group for Heaven and Earth Designs. It's called the new Heaven and Earth, the new official Heaven and Earth Designs group, I think it's called, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, and sometimes, isn't it like they have the question of the week or something? And they put out sometimes funny questions and... I like them and what was I, I no it wasn't this week I think it was last week the question was um, which which design would you get if it would be you know the last one you you would be able to get and I was like one last design no <laughs> no way no uh uh no 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 uh -uh. which which one would it be and then i was like maybe a big amy stewart one because that would take a lot of time and then i'm like but what you're not going to get one of your randall spanglers you know like the sanctum of knowledge for example in super size max color i'm like I can't choose. How can you ask such a question? <laughs> yeah. Oh. But I love such questions anyway, because, you know, uh, to read other people's uh, answers and sometimes, you know, they say a name or put in a picture of a design you have never seen or noticed and you're like wow that one is so beautiful yeah that's why also why I like to watch the um, like the Wednesday uh, on Wednesdays you get to put in pictures of your whips and stuff and it's so nice to see other people's works and you know everyone is doing so great and oh, it's so beautiful and you know that most of us are just really enjoying the stitching and the result and sharing and everything so yeah enjoy what was the question this week on heaven and earth the science facebook group What was the question? It was also like a crazy question. Um, oh, yeah. It was um, when you finish the design you're stitching now, which is the next uh, project or the next design you're going to stitch? And I was like, finish? <laughs> which one? When? How? <laughs> not gonna happen uh so yeah no i i don't think i answered the question because i can't because i'm never gonna finish anything uh, yeah and also because i have so many whips i'm working through um which i'm also gonna talk a little bit about but that's just that's the, i like the questions because it makes you think a little bit you know, what do I like right now? Which design right now would I really like to stitch? And, you know, that could be, you know, you don't have to finish one design before you can stitch that. Or, you you know, it could be like, well, that's the one which is next in line to get stitched on, you know. So we're going to do this and jump over to this one and then we need to end this thread. And I hate that sound, you know, when it's squeaking when you run through the needle through. 
I don't know if it's because it's getting like dirty or I don't know. I, I hate it. I hate that thumb. Oh, and then I'm continuing over there. How far? Yeah. Yeah. Let's just let's just continue over there. Um, I'm going to run it underneath. It's What happened? Oh, my light got in the way. Sorry. So yeah, let me know if you're in the group and if you want to share um, your progress pictures with me and uh, let me know, you know, the progr progress picture of um, this, uh, the Once Upon a Fairy Tale. If you're stitching that um, and you're in the group, uh, the stitch along group on Facebook and let me know if you want to share your progress if I'm allowed to share the picture and your name on myself because I really as I said I I really 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 enjoy looking other people's progress because you know everyone is seriously doing such a nice job and it would be nice to share so let me know so I'm just gonna do one of these kind of starts I'm stitching four one Two, three, and four. Like so. And then. didn't end up under there so I'm thinking I'm thinking that I need to do another one. Oh yeah I started the wrong place let's do some frogging This is the life of a stitcher. You jump around and you frog. And you have to be good at counting at least to 10. I was looking at Stone Cold Coffee Crafts floss tube and her daily crafty shed, I think she's called. She's calling it that. Um, I need to start here. And she mentioned a store, a web store. I don't know if it's a real store uh, from Canada. And it's called traditional stitches, traditional stitching. Yeah. Uh, and she ordered some stuff from there, I think. Um, and she said, you know, don't don't be scared to order from this place. So 
So I went over there and I saw that they had kits for uh, samples. So you don't have to only buy the patterns and then kit everything up. They actually offer kits for the asked for fabrics and threads. And I was like, yay. Because yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a heaven and earth design stitcher and I love them to death. But um, as I've also mentioned in my floss tubes and stuff that I'm so overwhelmed and amazed about so many different kind of designs that I've just realized is out there like for example Mirabilia and you know there's all these samplers and Quakers and you know whatever um, I kind of fall in love with uh, long dogs samplers and the ink cir circle uh, designs. Oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So I bought a pattern which is called, what is it called? Something with dog. That's, that's why I found it because I, I googled, no, I made a search on one of the English websites uh, for dog and I found the long dogs but I also found the constitutional dogs the dogs yeah whatever it's ink circles um, and it's so nice and I'm like I'm, I'm stitching with DMC so often and I really want to try out different uh, threads and the last the first ink circle I tried out used Gloriana silk thread and that was just like heaven compared to my DMC threads so I thought that you know uh, it's kind of fun trying out stuff you've never you know stitched with and stuff before so this pattern calls for um, Veldani Veldani I think cotton threads and I couldn't get them in Sweden of course uh, and though Veldani had you know some website um their own website i think you could order here in europe but uh they didn't have all the colors in and i'm like i really want to you know get all of them at once and then i tried one two three stitches and they had some and yeah i think they had them all but then i was like seriously i need to order from the states yeah so I was like, yeah, then it's going to cost me a little bit. Where am I going here with this one? Oh, I'm, I'm in the right spot. Yes. So I've been holding back a little bit. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. It's a lot of money and, and but, 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 but they have, you, you know, I can order the kit. Of this design I will you know put in a picture or link it down below or I will mention it in my floss tube coming I think next week maybe I will make a floss tube uh, anyway I can get a kit with the linen and everything from tra traditional stitches So that is kind of next 
on the buying list. So it's still going to be overseas. So I guess I will have to pay, you know, taxes and everything. Um, but, 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 um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to do that. It's such a cute piece. Yeah, what would I uh, stitch if I was going to finish this once upon a time? Right now, when I'm thinking about it, I would go for the Fantastic Voyage, I think. If we're talking heaven and earth designs, I would start that kit. Yes. Um, so uh, my last floss tube, I went through my heaven and earth uh, stash and showed all the whips I have and some which I didn't have and some I started and some of them I didn't know what it was. And then off camera, <coughs> I went through all of them again and decided which designs I would, you know, really like to keep, you know, or whips, patterns, uh, the patterns I'm going to keep, of course, but yeah, you get my point. I'm not going to stitch all of them and some of them I don't feel like stitching now because I bought them like five six years ago anyway so I chose 19 of them 19 of them I feel like yeah I really would like to continue stitching them or I would really like to start them um, and that's with the two, the Couch Dragon and uh, the uh, Fantastic Voyage included there. So I haven't, you know, now I've purchased w one of the patterns, but uh, yeah, so they're in there. And then of course, if I'm getting the, the pirate ship, that will be 20 in total, plus <laughs> my Mirabilia. And then I have some other cells I'm in, and then we have the long dogs, and we have the ink circles and stuff. So that's quite a lot. And then I was thinking, if it would take me one year to finish each of the heaven and earth designs, it's going to take me more than one year to finish one of them. Maybe a mini, I would say a year, sure. Or a quick stitch, maybe. But <laughs> not the super sized or anything. No, um, no, 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 no. Um, one, two and three. But if it would take me a year for each design, it would take me 20 years to finish the 20 designs that I've chosen to stitch. And that would make me like 60 plus years. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Oh my God. So, I mean, when you think like that, you know, you realize that you're never going to finish all of them. Maybe some but definitely not all of them. And that is why, again, I'm saying, you know, the process is so important. You really need to enjoy what you're doing, right? So yeah, that is why I'm switching out the 28 count fabrics. I don't think I have gotten very far on any of them. 
So they're going to be switched out to 25 count. I think I have two fabrics. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, and I think it was one of them. I think it's only one of them that I've started and I've kind of, I think I made one page and it was the I Vampiri Pieta. Um, yeah, I'm going to restart that on 25 count, but I'm not going to get, I don't think I'm going to get white. Should I get white? Because that's the easy guide. And you know, heaven and earth designs an easy guide. That's, you know, makes your life so much easier. Yeah, I think so. I think I'm just going to go for that. Otherwise, it would be nice to, you know, get a little bit, a little bit darker, uh, maybe gray or something. Gray or beige um, fabric um, for, you know, all the blacks and everything. I No, you can't see because it's not in the camera. You can see, you know, the white fabric coming through the stitches but if you have a little bit darker uh, fabric you won't have that problem you won't have the problem now as well because when it's framed and you take a spe step back you won't you won't notice it it's going to be beautiful anyway um, but then you have to grid you know you have to I use a very thin fishing line and grid it and yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. No, I don't think I want to do that. But yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, did you hear that squeaking noise? Ugh, I hate it. Hate it. I could go through so many needles, but I don't. I keep them and stitch with them for a very long time. So that was there and then I need to jump one to the left. And then I think, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get thread packs for all of them. I don't think so. Maybe just the ones I'm starting, you know, now from now on it's worth it it's really worth it I think so anyway and then I know I'm so, oh, you know last floss tube I was like hope returns hope returns which one is that and I was like oh I don't know I don't know I'm like Oh my freaking god it's like one of my absolute favorite design i love faramir and awen in the lord of the rings i love their sadness i love their love and i just love it and i love that picture because it yeah i'm such a romantic um, and I think Awen is the most awesome freaking woman ever you know and she's so beautiful and everything and I have the pattern and I have a thread pack uh, but I had some problems with the the symbols they made a little bit of mistake but they have um, I straightened it out but then when I ordered that kit years ago many years ago <laughs> there were no supersized or max colors or anything and when I realized that Hope Returns is that picture I 
I, I, I don't think, you know, it's not as beautiful as uh, the eternal promise, which I'm also considering getting as a supersized. Because they're so freaking beautiful and it's and it's Lord of the Rings and that story means so much to me. It's been with me my life in good times and bad times and yeah, I, I, I cannot explain it but I was like, the detail in Hope Returns isn't that good as it is now. And there's a picture on Heaven and Earth Design's webpage of a finished, how it looks finished. And I don't really like it. Also a reason why I haven't started it. So I'm just looking at my pattern. I'm sorry if I'm uh, not stitching. Um, I'm just, I just need to figure out where I'm gonna start. Where am I gonna start? I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to, where am I, where am I? here and there to this place yes I have two more threads of 939 I will stitch the two and then we'll gonna call it a day and hopefully I have made a little bit just a tiny little bit more progress when I do my next cell yes so I remember, um, I remember when those uh, patterns came to heaven and earth, uh, the eternal promise was like, I think everyone was getting that pattern. Um, and they showed the hope returns. And I know they said something about, it looks nice as it is, so we're not gonna redo the pattern, right? Um, but I wish they did because I wanted it to be more, more detailed. So I, I actually wrote them now and asked, would it be possible to get that one as a supersized max colored? And yes, it is possible. So I'm very happy that I haven't started that pattern because I'm seriously considering making a request of it to be a supersized. Just to get more detail. And uh, thinking about that and taking a closer look at the supersized eternal promise which is just uh, it's just so breathtaking it's so beautiful um, I just realized that you know and with the mirabilias and everything it's the dresses I'm falling in love with and I don't know why because I don't wear dresses a lot but it's just the way, uh, the details in the dresses and everything. And I noticed uh, there is one design on heaven and earth, which I'm like, okay, it's a woman in a very, very beautiful dress in some royalty person. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun stitching a dress. But I'm like, seriously, you know, not for finishing, if it would finish ever, I mean, oh my God, everyone would, you, you know, just drop their jaw, seriously. But, uh, you know, the dress is in a bluish uh, color, I think. Just the joy of stitching that detail. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I can just, oh, I can just vision it. I can see it in front of me. You know, the satisfaction. Yeah. So there is quite a few designs I still want and want to start. Yep. It's an addiction. It's an addiction. Yeah, I hope this is correct. It's correct. I don't like 939 very much. I don't like the feel of it. I don't like the look of it too much. I don't know why. So I just want to get it over and done with. It's too bad there's so much of that color. But what to expect? I mean, this uh, fairy tale is kind of in blue colors, right? Should I stitch all the way up? Yep. I should. I should. Today, Saturday, the, is it the 30th of May? It is such a beautiful day. It's warm outside, sun is shining. We decided, we, my husband and my daughter, she's turning 13 next week. Oh my God, she's turning 13. She's gonna be a teenager, I cannot believe it. I don't want her to be older, you know, I'm like, Oh my God, it hurts. Yeah. Um, we decided to go to the woods and do some orientation. Is that how you call it? We have bought a, a map when, where they've, you know, marked out all the uh, stations or whatever, controls, whatever you call it. So we went out for that, but it was, I mean, I love nice weather but I don't like it when it's too hot and I think it was too hot actually but it was nice to get out with the you know with the family and just enjoy and no we didn't get lost in the woods we didn't get lost Let's see, so there is um, one there and then there's one over there. So how do I do it? I should go up here actually and do that and go down and do the other. There's two between there, that's correct. And then we go back up to here. And we mark off what we stitched. So what else? So yeah, next weekend is my daughter's birthday. And since, you know, we're in the situation we are, uh, we've decided not to have like a birthday celebration kind of at home. So we're just like, uh, not everyone wants to come, of course, because we shouldn't socialize or anything. So we're, uh, we're just going to be me, my husband and my daughter, my mom and my younger sister and my uh, husband's younger brother. 
So we're going out to a place called Pinchos. And keep distance and eat because that's my daughter's favorite restaurant. And she has already gotten her birthday present from me and her dad. Uh, her dad is my husband, of course. So, yeah, we're not divorced or anything. We live together happily. Um, so uh, she wanted to save up for an iPad with a, like, an iPad pencil or something. So we said, well, you know, save like at least half of it uh, and we can support you with the rest. Or, you know, uh, you know, wish for money for your birthday and you can go get what you want. So she did and... And she's been working so hard at school. So we gave her uh, the pencil and stuff there. Yeah. And the iPad. For her 13th birthday. Yeah. Such a big girl. And... The week after there, yeah, she's school is off and she's done with sixth grade. I mean, shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, holy Lord. She has done so well. She's been fighting through this year and she left the old school. I'm so freaking proud of her. And yeah, she's doing so great. So, um, I think I'm gonna give her some extra, depending on how the grades look like, but I'm, I'm quite sure they're very satisfying. I think I'm going to give her some extra money for, you know, showing that it pays off to do well in school and, you know, work hard. So. What now? Let's see. One and one, two. I should just stitch one stitch here. I have a whole thread left. I don't know what to talk about now. I miss, um, I miss the movies. They've locked it down. And all the, it's so, oh, it's so annoying. You know, on the 20th of March, uh, they were releasing A Quiet Place 2. And my daughter liked the first movie. So we were going to go see a scary movie on the movies together. So we were so much looking forward to that. And like a week before they closed down the movie, the cinema. Yeah. So now they've postponed, I think, all the movies which were coming uh, to, you know, ahead of time. And that's understandable. But I really miss that. I was really looking forward to uh, go watch some movies with her, some more, you know, grown up stuff. I, I can't tell the other color from the other. There, and how does it look there? Like that, so I stitched that one as well. Okay, now I know. I got it. I'm trying, I'm just threading. 
I'm threading my needle. Uh, let's see. I was here. There. I'm going to stitch one, two, three up there. So let's start with the loop. So this is the last thread. Then it's. I'm not stitching anymore for now. Or, you know, at least the cell is over. I'm going to go back to my Mirabilia, I think. And I have to take a little bit. I don't know if I should try to finish off like this stuff over here, maybe. I don't know. Or maybe I should finish all the nine, three nines on the first pitch. Could be a way to go as well. So I can stitch something else later on. Like so, and then we have one there, right? No, we're not stitching there. We're jumping up to this stitch up here. And we're doing one. Then we're going up one. one and then we're doing two two and then we're going up one I think this is a tree, don't you think? This must be a tree. One and then one to the left. We can go up to the right corner there. Like so. One there. Like so. And we're doing, oh, now that line was done. And I think it's a little bit too far to jump. Or is it? I think it's just over here. Yeah. No, let's jump. Let's do it. Don't be afraid. Jump. One. One, two, three. One. Two, three, one, two, three, four, five, up one, two, three, four, and five. And let's do one stitch. Yes. Mark it off. And then we're going down to here. Let's see. And it's all the way down at the bottom of this grid. Yeah, let's see. It's um, three by three. One, two, three, one, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three. And then I'm going to start the top corner like so. We're stitching two, going left. And then we go down. Stitch three going right, like so. One, two, three. So in my next floss tube, I will go through uh, the list of the Heaven and Earth designs I decided to stick with. And I will try, I must try to, I want some project bags actually. 
um, but I guess I will just have to stick with the plastic bags, but I need to organize the stuff, you know, as I said, and kit up everything, and so I feel happy about it, and then I can just, I don't know, I felt like, you know, stitching, I, when I saw Athronatus, the Nene Thomas design, and the passion of the future and oh, soft as steel and everything you know i feel like ah oh, I, I want to stitch um a page or something on you know and i want to be able to grab the projects fast just go get it start stitching so i need to work on that so Two more. Oh, and when I'm gonna start the fantastic voyage? What am I gonna stitch? The same amount? No, one more going to the left. Uh, I saw that someone was stitching it on green fabric. Green 25 count. That would be kind of nice. So I feel a little bit, you know, maybe going super sized regular color and then choosing green fabric and then gridding like a page by page stuff kind of thing. Um, yeah. And then, you know, the fabric will be the challenge for me. I mean, it's not that it's tough to stitch super sized and yeah, everything. Yeah. So it's not that it's going to be a lot of detail anyway. So, but, but, um, yeah, I'm thinking, and I was thinking to start in the middle just to do different, you know, than I'm what you're used to starting at the top left corner, which is fine, but it would be nice, you know, just do different three and jump one and stitch one so yeah three jump one stitch one like so count one Yeah, it might be a little bit far to jump. Let's see, I'm here and I should jump to here. It's not that bad, is it? I'm in a jumping mood. I want to kind of finish up. So one, two, three, four, five. 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 Let's count again. Two going right. Then up one stitch. Two going left. And then we have one. off and what else and maybe I don't have a lot of thread left let's see if there's enough is there enough for over here no let's go to the right and just ditch the one so it's one two and one two three four one two one two three Uh, I could have
have stitched. I could have gone the other way and stitched three stitches. Yeah, we're going to end it here. This is a good place to stop. progress yay that's always nice it's always nice sometimes it's more nice to see uh, the progress when you're parking because that's you know you finish every grid uh, so yeah I miss parking sometimes so I need to do that Oh my god, it's one and a half hours. Yep. Okay. So there's quite a lot of 9.38 and I can't see where the... Oh, damn. I can't see where the pages, page lines are. I've removed them. Oh well. We know it's 80. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's there. So, yeah, I know about, but that's a little bit more, but I will finish off the three, no, the 939. And the next time I see you guys, I think we're gonna do, what are we going to do then? Maybe, what color? What color is that? 803. No, that's also blue. What's, um, what about three? There's a lot of three. 30, 42. Yeah, that's like a beige, purplish color. I don't know how you, grayish? Maybe a, a warm gray. Yeah. Oh, we can stitch some of that. That's quite a lot of that color over here. Yeah, that's the plan. So, um, thank you guys for uh, coming along on this stitch along. Mm. So, uh, if you're in the Facebook group for this stitch along, Once Upon a Fairy Tale, you know, by Heaven and Earth. And if you want me to share the picture of your progress and mention your name on my next episode of my cell, um, uh, Please let me know. It would be kind of nice to to share uh, your progress as well, uh, since it's a stitch along. So um, yeah, um, uh, take care, stay safe. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit that button because then I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.